Welcome back to another video guys. I'm here with another product review or a product introduction at least. And normally I don't keep it in the box, but for this purpose, because you haven't seen it yet, I thought I'd put it all back in the box and show you what it looks like. So this is Portable Espresso Machine, the Hand Presso. I've set this over to show you guys and review it for you, and I thought this is the perfect scenario. I got my tent set up, and uh, why not show you what this can do. Now, first things first, I am not a coffee fanatic. I am not a huge coffee maker. I just like to have a little shot of something in the morning to get me going sometimes. Not every day of the week I do it, but in a lot of the times, um, especially when you're needing energy, or if I'm, even if I'm just before work, some days I like to have a little coffee. Uh, I usually like to have espresso more than I do coffee itself. So in this case, I already got some hot water that I, I boiled really quick. It's probably cooling down a little bit, but that'll be good. I don't want it boiling, right? Um, this is the hand presso. Um, I have some coffee here. Nice and finely grind. Right here. So this is the hand presso. And of course I got coffee grounds all over in here already. Uh, and it comes with the ability to do espresso pods or actual ground espresso as well. Um, this is the cap for this. And then this is the little guy for the actual espresso itself. So once you fill it with coffee and you seal it down, then you push the coffee through. Um, you put the hot water actually in here. This actually has a pressure gauge that you can actually pump up. So a standard espresso machine, you, you put hot water at pressure through a really compact amount of grounds. That's exactly what this does. Um, so rather than coffee, which you could do through gravity, through a gravity filter, this, you actually, because especially you pack, to try to get the most out of the bean as possible. So you, this is a really, really like powdered bean, right? It's because I ground it up. So it's just like a bicycle pump. I'm just pumping this up and it has a little gauge here until I get to the green section. And the green section obviously is, is going to have a little bit, probably within a pump or so of each other, so that you're, uh, you're at what you would be uh, a 16 bar pressure, right? So there we go. I'm, really, I'm actually at the high end of the green, which is exactly what I want. I want to get as much as possible out of this, right? So let's start with this. I have it all pumped up. This little knob here, if I actually didn't have this in this selection, it is actually going to let the air out. So I just let some out. Now I'm going to pump back up to where I want it to be. One more. There we go. All right, so I got it all set. set the, uh, the unlock or the... the, the brew button I guess is right there on the uh, on the ready side I'm gonna set that down and now I'm gonna actually pack my espresso which uh, what I found actually to work good because they don't really give you a, a packer and like in my case I wouldn't take any of these items maybe the extra o-ring but if I'm packing it in my in a bag or something I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna keep it all together at all times so it takes a little space as possible uh, so I have my little coffee grind here I'm just gonna take my grinds and I'm gonna slowly fill up what I can. Maybe, you know, I'm actually doing it on the lid here, which is actually good because I'm gonna catch any grinds I miss. And I've been using the, the bottom of the actual machine itself to press them. And so it actually fits right inside there. I can pack them in real good, and there we go. Now I can put a little, a little bit more in there. So good thing I did that, right? For how I'm doing it. There you go, we're good and packed. And of course you want to pack it really good so it's ready to go. You don't want to pack too much so you don't break the, the screen on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna push my extra grinds over there because I'm gonna actually just dump that back into the bag here shortly. But now I have that ready, so I'm set for that. Now all I need to do is just need to get the hot water. So I'm gonna take this lid, which is keeping my water fresh, right? And I'm going to take my little kettle and I'm going to pour in hot water until I get to the, well, maybe I should have showed you. There are three little crosshairs in here that will show you, which is basically what the bottom of this rests on. So I filled the water to that point. I'm going to set that on there. I'm going to take my lid. I set it on there. And there's a little white guy on all the three of these sides. One of them is going to go to this locked symbol. And now I'm ready to brew. I have it all pumped, the water's in there. Flip it upside down. And I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna dump out the extra water I have here. I'm gonna brew it right into my guy here. So you'll see the, the espresso come out. Ah, right like that. Now of course, if you, the heavier you, or the 
harder you press the presser, the slower it's probably going to come out. Um, and the same thing goes if you don't think you get all of the um, water out. Oh, there we go. See, I got all the water through the grounds, and now it's just pushing moisture, air through it. But it's going to make sure I get all of it out. And now I have nice, hot brewed espresso, which. I usually like putting some kind of creamer or something in myself. Like I said, I'm not this big coffee drinker, so um, everybody's a little bit different. But she's potent. If nothing else, that's going to give you a little pep in the morning. And to be honest, if I'm backpacking, I'm probably not going to worry about the taste so much as the experiences. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna get some uh, uh, caffeine in my body. I'm gonna have a little more pep in the morning. Get me up. Get me on the trail as soon as possible. So, not bad. The nice thing is, real quick and easy uh, to clean up. Um, once you open this up, all the grounds are now in a puck, right? So if I take this, push her out. It's a puck of espresso. This is. I mean, quick, easy, just dash some water on there and you're good to go. That you can just toss into the woods because, well, it's a natural bean anyway. And then I'm gonna just gonna take the rest of my little bean grinds that I have, dump them in back into there, and be ready for the next one. Now I have, what I've been using for uh, holding on to it at least, is, uh, threw it in the top of my bag here, just a real quick and easy stuff sack. So in this case, it's fairly dry, and I wouldn't care about that anyway. I'm just gonna throw it in there. If I don't, if you need enough, I don't. I don't have to put it in a stuff sack, but I have been because I've been putting that and then the coffee beans in there as well. And I just grabbed this. Um, usually I have this in a, a plastic bag or a plastic uh, container of some kind because you're you're gonna want to keep it sealed, obviously, as well as keeping it dry because if it gets rain, this paper bag ain't gonna do anything. But it's, I, I came. This came right from the grocer, so. But that's it, man. That's the uh, espresso or the uh, hand presso. Like I said, they also give you the container for using a pod rather than the actual uh, hand grinds. But I'm definitely more of a grind person than a pre-made little pod. So pretty awesome little product. And I highly recommend you checking them out. I'll throw the link down below to the, directly to the website. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe to the channel above. I highly appreciate you guys subscribing. That way I build the uh, a base best I can. The more of a base I have, the more products I'm actually going to get in to show you guys. And I want to show you guys as much as possible because, well, camping, backpacking is definitely a huge hobby of mine that I love. So thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking us out. And please let us know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you have any uh, future review ideas, definitely get a hold of me. You can head, head over to campgeeks.com to check us out there. Head over to uh, all the social media, Camp Geeks as well. So uh, thanks for checking us out, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.